that, the facts. Too much fat in your diet especially saturated fats can raise your cholesterol which increases the risk of heart disease. Why we need some fat? A small amount of fat is an essential part of a healthy balanced diet. Fat is a source of essential fatty acids which the body cannot make itself. Fat helps the body absorb vitamin A, vitamin D and vitamin E. These vitamins are fat soluble, which means they can only be absorbed with the help of fats. Any fat that's not used by your body's cells or turned into energy is converted into body fat. Likewise unused carbohydrates and proteins are also converted into body fat. All types of fat are high in energy. A gram of fat whether it's saturated or unsaturated, provides 9 kilocalories, 37 kj, of energy compared with 4 kilocalories, 17 kj, for carbohydrate and protein. The main types of fat found in food are Saturated fats Unsaturated fats Most fats and oils contain both saturated and unsaturated fats in different proportions. As part of a healthy diet you should try to cut down on foods and drinks that are high in saturated fats and trans fats and replace some of them with unsaturated fats. Saturated fats Saturated fats are found in many foods both sweet and savory. Most of them come from animal sources including meat and dairy products as well as some plant foods such as palm oil and coconut oil. Foods high in saturated fats Fatty cuts of meat Meat products, including sausages and pies Butter ghee and lard Cheese especially hard cheese like cheddar Cream soured cream and ice cream some savory snacks like cheese crackers and some popcorns. Chocolate confectionery. Biscuits cakes and pastries. Palm oil. Coconut oil and coconut cream. Cholesterol and saturated fats. Cholesterol is a fatty substance that's mostly made by the body in the liver. It's carried in the blood as Low density lipoprotein. LDL High density lipoprotein HDL Eating too much saturated fats in your diet can raise bad LDL cholesterol in your blood which can increase the risk of heart disease and stroke Good HDL cholesterol has a positive effect by taking cholesterol from parts of the body where there's too much of it to the liver where it's disposed of Saturated fat guidelines Most people eat too much saturated fats the government recommends that Men should not eat more than 30 grams of saturated fat a day Women should not eat more than 20 grams of saturated fat a day Children should have less Trans fats Trans fats are found naturally at low levels in some foods such as meat and dairy products they can also be found in partially hydrogenated vegetable oil. Hydrogenated vegetable oil must be declared on a food's ingredients list if it's been included. Like saturated fats trans fats can raise cholesterol levels in the blood. The government recommends that. Adults should not have more than about 5 grams of trans fats a day. But most people do not eat a lot of trans fats. On average we eat about half the recommended maximum. People tend to eat a lot more saturated fats than trans fats. This means that when you are looking at the amount of fat in your diet it's more important to focus on reducing the amount of saturated fats. Unsaturated fats. If you want to reduce your risk of heart disease it's best to reduce your overall fat intake and swap saturated fats for unsaturated fats. There's good evidence that replacing saturated fats with some unsaturated fats can help to lower your cholesterol level. Mostly found in oils from plants and fish unsaturated fats can be either monounsaturated or polyunsaturated. Monounsaturated fats Monounsaturated fats help protect your heart by maintaining levels of good HDL cholesterol while reducing levels of bad LDL cholesterol in your blood. Monounsaturated fats are found in Olive oil rapeseed oil and spreads made from these oils. 
avocados. Some nuts such as almonds, brazils and peanuts. Polyunsaturated fats. Polyunsaturated fats can also help lower the level of bad LDL cholesterol in your blood. There are two main types of polyunsaturated fats, omega-3 and omega-6. Some types of omega-3 and omega-6 fats cannot be made by your body which means it's essential to include small amounts of them in your diet. Omega-6 fats are found in vegetable oils such as rapeseed, corn, sunflower, flour, some nuts. Omega-3 fats are found in oily fish, such as kippers, herring, trout, sardines, salmon, mackerel. Most people get enough omega-6 in their diet, but it's recommended to have more omega-3 by eating at least two portions of fish each week, with one portion being an oily fish. Vegetable sources of omega-3 fats are not thought to have the same benefits on heart health as those found in fish. Buying lower fat foods The nutrition labels on food packaging can help you cut down on total fat and saturated fat, also listed as saturates or set fat. Nutrition information can be presented in different ways on the front and back of packaging. Total fat. High fat more than 17.5 grams of fat per 100 grams. Low fat 3 grams of fat or less per 100 grams, or 1.5 grams of fat per 100 ml for liquids, 1.8 grams of fat per 100 ml for semi-schemed milk. Fat-free 0.5 grams of fat or less per 100 grams or 100 ml. Saturated fat. High in sat fat more than 5 grams of saturates per 100 grams. Low in sat fat 1.5 grams of saturates or less per 100 grams or 0.75 grams per 100 ml for liquids. Sat fat free 0.1 grams of saturates per 100 grams or 100 ml. Lower fat labels. For a product to be labeled lower fat reduced fat light or light it must contain at least 30% less fat than a similar product. But if the type of food in question is usually high in fat the lower fat version may still be a high fat food. 17.5 grams or more of fat per 100 grams. For example a lower fat mayonnaise may contain 30% less fat than the standard version but it's still high in fat. Also, foods that are lower in fat are not necessarily lower in calories. Sometimes the fat is replaced with sugar and the food may end up having a similar energy content to the regular version. To be sure of the fat and energy content, remember to check the nutrition label on the packet. Cutting down on fat is only one aspect of achieving a healthy diet. Thank you for watching the video. Please like and click on the subscribe button for more amazing videos.